Scripps is uh, an institution that's been involved in earth science, earth and environmental science research for over 100 years now. We were actually founded in down in Coronado in 1903. Uh, a couple marine biologists were interested in doing some research down there and the, uh, the Scripps family helped them out with that. And then actually they helped by purchasing some of the land where we're standing now. So we moved from Coronado up to where we are in La Jolla. If it's happening on this planet, Scripps studies it, and there's a good chance that if it happens anywhere in the universe, someone at Scripps is studying that too. I'm a sixth year PhD student, PhD candidate. I'm developing new technologies to study the chemistry of the seawater. I study it because I love it. I've sort of always been interested in water sports. I was a big kayaker and uh, actually a rower through high school and college and I studied chemical engineering for my bachelor's degree. When someone told me I could actually get paid to study the ocean, I said, that's it. My research building is actually uh, offset just a few hundred feet from part of the coastal trail. You can park anywhere along the, the public streets and then just walk right down. This is a, a public beach. And actually, we can walk north from Scripps uh, up to Black's Beach, which is one of the most famous surfing beaches in Southern California, if not the United States. Those guys out there, they're stand-up paddleboarders. You can do anything you want at all on these things. It's just a, a way to float on the water and appreciate that uh, ability to essentially walk on water. I'm going to put some of the chemical sensors that we develop in our lab onto a stand-up paddleboard and map the surface ocean chemistry right here at Scripps Pier. You're looking at the wave fox right now. Wave, because we're making the measurements right here in the ocean, in the waves. Fox, spelled P-H-O-X, because we're measuring the critical ocean parameters, pH and oxygen. This is the housing that we designed specifically to go on mobile platforms. As soon as I go out, I'll take the plugs out as the last thing I do, uh, so that the water can flow through this top flow cell uh, and actually come in contact with sensors that are on the inside. So by paddling back and forth in a grid pattern right off of the pier, I can get an understanding of how things are changing over really small spaces where you wouldn't actually be able to bring a research vessel. Uh, and since we're in a marine protected area and since I'm studying the carbon dioxide, I don't want to use something that emits a lot of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere or into the water. So that's why I'm using a human powered vessel. All of this water right behind me here is part of a marine protected area. And so we have this really pristine ecosystem that spans from where we're standing out, um, I think about a mile offshore and all the way down to the cove so that we have some of the, the most pristine um, ecosystem in, in the world really, which is perfect for uh, an institution that's studying those types of ecosystems. There are quite a few leopard sharks that come in, especially during the summer. There are these really majestic, beautiful creatures and they're completely harmless to humans. So it's really fun to go out there and swim with them. We do have some stingrays here, and uh, yes, I've been stung by, by stingrays uh, only once, fortunately, so far. You see lots of cormorants, the birds, that will dive bomb, and they can actually swim pretty deep underwater. Occasionally, you even see a cormorant, a bird, swim up underneath you, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is whale migration season for us, so we might, if we're really lucky, see some gray whales out there. Dolphins all the time, seals and sea lions. Uh, we have a lot of stuff here, it's pretty cool. And I think one of the, the first steps for appreciating our ecosystems is just spending time in them, getting away from the computer screen, the TV screen, actually spending time in nature. It's pretty hard not to appreciate this when we're actually spending time in it. I think that being able to spend time on the California Coastal Trail uh, will just open their eyes to everything that's happening out there. I mean, whether they're walking by and seeing a, a whale breach or even just see the fog roll in and fog roll out, I think there are a lot of uh, really cool things happening on the coast.